Do you know DA we?
Foia. changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes.
War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hun. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. LOL big smile Hey, my turn big guy Let me just slide in here. Phase 4 looks cool for female. Okay, come on. New hairstyle? Love it. The best hairdresser, I swear. Looking good, huh? Just another minute, I swear.
Hmm, this new haircut's really working for me. That's my handsome guy. Looking good laugh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that works. You are so beautiful. Not bad. Not bad at all.
I love that face. I clean up pretty nice. Nice haircut. What do you think, hon? Huh? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Yee's good boy. Sexy and I know it. Laugh LMFAO. So handsome.
Yeah, not bad. As handsome as the day we met. Well, hello, handsome. Mm-hmm. I like the scruff. It's cute. Looking good, if I do say so myself. Mmm. I do love those lips. She said she loves those lips. What lips? LOL. This is so hilarious. Also with these comments. Haha. Ha. Not bad, not bad.
This robot voice sounds like an old lady robot. Blur blur rub a dub dub bub. Get off my lawn. Hey ha 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 ha. Hey, hon. Hmm, just getting ready. Add every scar available laugh. Blah bay blah bay dub d a na ba 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 da ba la ba na ba 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 da da ba hey ha 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 what a jaw he has. War never changes. <laughs> Got that right. No need to get dressed twice. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. Good old USA. Ah, broken again. I'm too old for this crud. Beep, boop, beep. Gloves a little big right now, but Sean will grow into it. Should get this signed next time we're at the park. <laughs> He'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together. Can't wait to teach him to ride this. Wonder what Sean will grow up to be. <laughs> to think. One day, he's going to learn how to drive. Abraxo, for all your cleaning needs. Another fine product of General Atomics International. Yeah, let Codsworth take care of it. Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Rule to perfection. And today's newspaper just delivered. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, sir. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. My favorite.
someone made a sticky. I shall attend to young Sean. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth. I good wonder too. what Sean will look be when he grows up with parents like these laugh. Hey, hon. Can't believe it's almost Halloween. Oh, need to finish making Sean's costume. It's a little early to be drinking. Now, who left those here? Can you get that? It's probably that salesman. He comes for you every day. Something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I am referring, of course, to our great national pastime, baseball. I'm so proud of her. Never gonna find that dog. Come on, just answer the door and he'll go away. Sugar bombs, 100% daily value of sugar. Looks like the milk got delivered. You know he's not going to give up. New Coca-Cola, ice cold. Saddle up Salisbury steak, graded A+. Plus. <laughs> How can someone so small drink Honey, so much? Do you mind getting the door? Are you getting More the, the door? Good morning, vault -Tec calling. vault -Tec? Remind me again? Why, we're about you, sir, and helping secure your future. You see, vault -Tec is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, sir, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid, and coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. But there's room for my entire family, right? Of course, of course. Minus your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. 
won't take but a moment. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Uh, come back some other time. Come on, hon. It's just a little paperwork. Let him fill it out, and it's done. Come on. You really think it could happen? Nuclear war? Of course not, but look, we have Sean to think of now. <sighs> You're right. Let's get it over with. Just need to get this pesky info all squared away. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> you heard Codsworth. Go on. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. And do what exactly? Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth, what's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with say? our affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do have... We do have coming in. That's, um, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh, my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Codsworth, stay safe, buddy. And your family as well, sir? Oh, my. Goodbye, sir. May I say what an honor it has been to serve you and your family. No, oh, now don't you worry about me, sir. You have your family to think about. Go on! Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Excuse me. Oh my gosh! We don't have anywhere to go! Hey. This is just a drill, right? This can't really be happening. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately.
Hills of Sanctuary Hills. If you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. We'll drive to the coast! That's gotta be far enough! What if it isn't? Oh my god. What if we can't drive far enough in time? Um, hey there. We'll have to avoid the highways. Everyone's gonna be taking them. Sanctuary Hills. Excuse me. We don't have any room in the car! This is it! This is the end! The nukes are coming! Those communist bastards! Excuse me. No! No, I'm not going anywhere! I'm not dying huddled in the basement like some rat! Um, hey there. Damn the rats! This is all their fault! of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 oh, immediately. Head this way! Keep going! This way! Keep it orderly. Vault participants, sir, vaults the other way. Hey there. Where are you going? Off the street, citizen. Vaults the other way. Hey. Sir, turn around and head to the vault. Residents of Sanctuary Hills. If vault participants, this way! Excuse me. Head down to the bridge. The vault is up the hill. Help me pack it up! Hey. Who cares about the stupid luggage? Oh, hey. God, I can't lose these. It'll be all I have left. On the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, ma'am. Excuse me. And God help us all. You two, follow me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the platform in the center. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! They move faster? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later... No, We'd no. All be. Don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. What? What? What's going on? 
on. We we just need a minute. The, the Up the stairs, please. This way, please. The female. Oh, hi. Well, Home tech is here for you. Here you All are. new residents, the please proceed just this in way. an orderly fashion. Right over there, please. Welcome home. Male. Female and infant. Take a vault seat, then head down the hall. You all right? This is our new home. Good. Over there. Take a suit. Just step over to the table. Hey, welcome to Vault 111. I'm sure you'll feel right at home in no time. Each of you take one of these, your brand new vault suits. It's down uh, the hallway right thanks. there. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. How, how long do you think it? we'll be down here? I know this place. Oh, we'll be going over all the that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get to first. It's designed to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Hey. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. Take your time. We've got all day. Shh. It'll be okay. Daddy's right here. See? Honey, <clears throat> could you help me? Who's my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There he is. See? Daddy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. Hey, hon. I think he's better. You go ahead. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three, two, one.
Has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh god! All the residents must vacate immediately. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Giant roaches? What the hell?
Where is everyone? Is this all that's left? Nice. Coming back later for you. Is anyone alive? Did anyone get out? Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead.
return to the surface. And thank you for choosing Vault Tech. I live and breathe. Oh, it's it's really you. Codsworth? You're you're still here. So other people could still be alive too. But of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? seem the worse for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state, hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? They came into the vault. Maybe you saw them, armed, wearing strange outfits. <clears throat> Only Miss Rose's boy running around in his Halloween costume, more than a week early. I swear, the nerve of that woman leaving her brat unsupervised. Ha <laughs> ha, not like this family, sir. You and the missus have always been such a responsible couple. Oh, where is she, by the by? They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Codsworth, listen to me carefully. Have you seen him? Have you seen Sean? Why, the, the missus had him last, remember? Oh, perhaps she's gone to the Parker residence to arrange a play date. I'm sure she'll be back with him momentarily. He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not 
eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you... A bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give and take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. And the car, the car, how do you polish rust? What do you know, Codsworth? I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. A holotape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that Pip-Boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The Mrs. and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir. Picking up town, you! Godsworth. Mr. Danny, don't worry. My search protocols are on full alert. Nothing here but a few flies. Wait. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. Sir, something's afoot. Peekaboo! I need your help. Where can I go? Well, you could head into the city. Concord is nearby. But the people there are mm, as put together as I am. There are still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home front. Hey, Codsworth. There must be someone who can help you in Concord.
kommen, Buddy. Hey, boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Hey, boy, you know any tricks? You know any tricks?
Congrats on level up. Big smile. Their time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Huh. Uh, Minutemen? So now I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted hey. to make a difference. And I did, but <sighs> nope. things fell apart. Now it looks like I'm the last Minuteman left standing. God Who are these it. people? Just folks looking for a new home. A fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. It's just me, the Longs, Marcy and June. That's all Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. Ghouls? What are ghouls? God damn wow. It. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are irradiated people. Most are just uh, like you and me. They look pretty uh, messed up it. and live for a long time, but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted Maybe. their brains, made them feral. They'll rip you apart nope. just as soon as look at you. Anyway. We figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. 
those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Will it be enough to stop those maniacs? Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. What makes that power armor so special? A West Tech internalized servo system, that's what. Inside that baby, super is the new normal. You'll be stronger, tougher, resistant to rats, and... Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that. And those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? And I can use the minigun like a rifle? Don't see why not. It'll have a manual trigger. Just aim it at the bad guys and do the old spray and pray. Now, as for the armor, it's out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. So... What's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. What are you looking for again? A fusion core. It's kind of a fancy battery. They used one here in the museum to power the exhibits a long time ago. There's one in the basement behind a security gate. You'll need to pick the lock or hack the computer to open it. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders and know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Excellent. Hey, Sturgis. Wanna try? You can't do any worse than me. dying today? No? Nope. Then move it! Dog meat sure did find us some help. Just look at ya. So, he's your dog? Aw, uh, he ain't my dog. No, sir. Dog meat, he's what you call his own man. You can't own a free spirit like that. But he chooses his friends and sticks with them. He'll stay by you now. I saw it. You saw it? It's the Kems, kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way for as long as I can remember. What's the sight? I can see a bit of what was, and what will be, and even what is right now. Uh, and right now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And... Is angry. 
What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more, please. I see. I see. Oh. It's... it's... horrible, kid. Claws and... teeth and... horns. The very face of death itself. I can manage. That's all. I need to rest now. And you have a job to do. Make it quick. They mask for another attack. I won't be able to hold them. You all right? God, no! Why? Why? We need help, and we get a vault dweller? What are you going to do in that stupid jumpsuit? Bleed to death? You okay? You're with the rescue team? Perfect. Mister. Excuse me. Make it quick. Know, they mask for another attack. Sight, I won't be able to hold them. Right Sturgis. So that was the bypass word. Man, why didn't I see it? You're with the rescue team?
here. Boss, we got somebody up here. Why don't you get down here? Show me that fancy gun up close. Not a lot of people can get past my boys. I give you that. Take it easy, mama. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you're on our side. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah. For a while, anyway. We can at least move someplace. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. What happens now? For the longest time, Mama Murphy's had a vision of a place called Sanctuary. Some old neighborhood, but one we can make new again. Why don't you come with us? I could really use your help. What would I need to do? You'd need to stay strong like you've been. Cause there's more to your destiny. I've seen it. And I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel his life force, his energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City, the biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. 
that junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can hardly oh, hold turn on, out any hold worse on. than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June, it's time to go. Oh, okay. Hey, Sturgis. You coming with us to Sanctuary? Mama Murphy. The help you need is in Diamond City, John. Mister. What? Who are you? Hey. I can't believe we're going to Sanctuary just because Mama Murphy had a vision. You better not be walking into another trap. we paid to get this far. Let's move out. I'll take point. Stay close, everyone. We're right behind you, boss. Hey there. We need to keep moving. First time I've seen one of these things up close. I'm very glad it's already dead. I'm gonna miss this festering boil on the ass end of the Commonwealth. Uh, no offense if you're from here or something. <laughs> Where are we going, Marcy? Don't worry, June. Just stay with me. It'll be fine. Oh. oh okay.
that. I think I just found my new vacation home. Your idea of heaven, eh? There just could be some good salvage in there. Let's get to sanctuary first, though. I think we're close. I'll be damned. That's the monument to the original Minuteman. I knew that was somewhere around Concord. That means this right here must be the Old North Bridge, where the first shots of the American Revolution were fired. I'd call that the best omen I've seen since we left Quincy. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, boss, but I'm glad you're happy about it. Glad you decided to come with us. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. Pretty nice place she's found for us. I think we could settle down here. Make it a place to call home. What do you think? So, do you believe in these visions she has? I didn't used to. But how did she know about this place? I think she has some kind of a gift. Best not to ignore it. I mean, look at this place. I really think this could be what we've been looking for. Here. What do you mean? You used to live here or something? What do you think I'm saying? Well, that you're from before the war. The Great War. 
Like one of those old ghouls you sometimes run into. Is that true? Ghouls from before the war? Yeah. I've run into a few that old. I guess ghouls don't really age. Radiation preserves them or something. Obviously, you're no ghoul, but the way you were talking made me wonder. That's all. Yeah, sort of. I was born over 200 years ago, but I was frozen or something for most of it. Just woke up a little while ago. Damn. Like one of those old pre-war ghouls. You say you were frozen. Anybody else make it out with you? My son. Somebody took him while I was still trapped. Have you run across anybody with a baby boy? Damn. I'm sorry. But no. I haven't run across any kidnapped babies. I'll definitely keep an eye out for him. Anyway, I am glad you're here. And I hope you don't mind, but I've got another favor to ask. I've had word from a settlement asking for help. There's still hope in there are out there somewhere. The only chance to start rebuilding the Miniman is to show people that they can count on us when they need us. Trouble is, I've got my hands full here. Do you think you could go help out the settlement? What kind of help do they need? Sounded like the usual, raiders. You'll have to get all the details when you talk to them. Oh, good. I was hoping for a chance to rescue some more helpless villagers. It's not that people are helpless. They just need someone to give them a helping hand sometimes. That's what the Miniman is supposed to be all about. By the way, if you want to help out around here at all, talk to Sturgis. I'm sure he'd be glad for all the help he can get. Sturgis. You willing to do some work? What kind of help do you need? Well, for starters, we could use some real beds. We've been sleeping on the ground for too long. Why do you need my help to build beds? Look, we got a lot on our plate, and we've been on the run for weeks. We need food, water, shelter, you name it. Well, you asked how you could help. I told you. Did you mean it or not? Do I look like a carpenter to you? I don't know what you look like. You said you were willing to help. Making beds is what we need help with. I'd be glad to help. Okay. Good deal. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. Some of these old houses still look solid enough to do the trick. There's a workbench over there you can use. Give me a holler if you need anything. Sanctuary. I knew you'd join us here, kid. Your energy is tied to this place. My energy? What do you mean? Thought I told you before, kid. I saw you leave that icebox. I know your pain. This world, it's not yours. But here you are. The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. What's jet? It's a little inhaler that packs a big kick. They say it makes you move faster, but at my age, it's more of a quick rush. The chems fuel the site, so it's not always gonna be jet I'm asking for. But that's what's on the menu this time. Maybe. Let me think it over. Well, ain't like I'm going anywhere. The site will be here when you need it. Hey, do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you for helping us out in Concord. If only we'd run into you sooner. What happened to you guys? Long story short, we've been on the move since the attack on Quincy. There used to be more of us. My son, he's... He's gone. Your son. What was his name? Kyle. My son's name was Kyle. I understand. 
understand how you feel. I lost someone too. But you and I, we're still here, right? We have to go on. For them. You'll find me some jet. Then I can use the site to help you. Can we trade a few things? I'm sorry. I, I, I wouldn't be very good company right now. Help out or get lost. I'd like to trade some items. Nothing I hate more than raider scumbags. If you run into any, put a few down for me. I'll try to make myself useful. <laughs> grown man feeling sorry for himself. <laughs> Heads up. How you doing, buddy? Oh, okay. Hey, boy. Uh, Think you can find something for me? See if there's any good stuff nearby, boy. That death long conquered was bad news, huh, Mama? You ever seen one of those suckers before? Oh, sure, plenty. One time, I killed a death claw all by Mama myself. Murphy. No power armor, no fancy minigun, just a pipe pistol and one bullet. I know what you're gonna ask me, June. I've seen it. And there's nothing I can do for you. But you have the sight. It has to be able to... Uh, you can't talk to the dead, kid. Even the site has limits. I'm sorry. Hey, Codsworth. Yes, sir? You never invited me over for tea. You haven't forgotten about that, have you? Oh, uh, no, of course not, sir. I, I'm just waiting to find a free day in my schedule. Okay, then, buddy. You keep doing what you're doing. Seems to be working for you. Yes, sir.
I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. What do you mean? Like a well. Then we don't have to keep drinking the river water. That stuff's not good for you. <laughs> I should have done more. <laughs> I hope those raiders pay for what they've done. Hey, Sturgis. I feel better already, knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're gonna settle here, we'll need to get some crops established. What kind of crops are you looking for? Well, it doesn't much matter. Potatoes, mute fruit, corn, whatever you can get to grow. Just looking to trade a little. I appreciate you helping us out here. I just need to trade gear with you. Don't take offense to Marcy. She's working through the loss in her own way. Seems to be growing well.
You remind me of a young man I used to know. Never looking for trouble, but always finding it. Seems to be growing well.
I know I'm not the only person here who's lost someone. I just... I miss him so much. Seems to be growing well. This place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. What sort of defenses did you have in mind? Walls, sandbags, turrets, whatever you can put together. Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Feels good. What next? Well, I guess figuring out how to get back to living instead of just surviving. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows, too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. I hope you find your son.
Protect and serve. Hey. Uh, <clears throat> hey there. <clears throat> Hi. Hey. Attention. Interfering with a law enforcement robot is a felony. Hi. Excuse me. Ahem. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey. Hey. Go check that out. Check it out.
protect and serve Hey. <clears throat> hey there. Excuse me. Attention, interfering with a law enforcement robot is a felony.
Attention. Interfering with a law enforcement robot. Yes. There we go. Bingo. Excellent. Perfect. Yes. Hell yeah. Perfect. Yes. Yes. Bingo. Nice. Yes. Nice. Excellent. Nice. Bingo. Bingo. Hell yeah. Nice. Nice. Hell yeah.
Nice. Bingo. Yes. Bingo. Protect and serve. 